Hi, my name's Gemma Lambert. I'm 12 times UK Nail Champion, International Competition Technician of the Year 2009 and an International Nail Judge. I'm here today to show you how to do a basic pink and white tip and overlay with acrylic. We've started by getting the client to wash your hands. We're going to start by using our metal tool to push back the client's cuticle. Not too firm. You don't want to hurt the client. And then any excess cuticle then, you can use the other end of your cuticle pusher to scrape away. You do need to scrape this away. If you don't scrape it away, then the nail will lift straight away. It's not designed to stick to skin. The next step we're going to do is we're going to file the client's natural nail plate with a 180 grit nail file. Very gently, really just letting that file do the work, not applying too much pressure. Concentrating on the side walls and cuticle area. making sure that there's no shine left on that nail plate. The next step to do is to shape the client's free edge. Again, nice and gentle. We now need to remove that dust from the nail so that it doesn't get trapped underneath our extension. Today we're gonna to be using wellless tips which means that you don't have to blend which saves you a good half an hour on your treatment time. When sizing a tip up don't just press the tip down to check that it fits because it may not fit from side wall to side wall. I'll just show you a smaller tip just to give you an idea of a tip that wouldn't fit. So if we press that down that does look like it fits but if we press it to side wall to side wall I'm going out of the way. We can see that it doesn't actually fit. Whereas this one from side wall to side wall fits the nail. Now of course we're not going to be blending this tip. You do need to place the tip on the nail where you want the smile line to be. The tip doesn't go down here else the white would end up down there. The tip needs to be right on the end. Your tip is only there as a structure, as a base for your acrylic. It's not there as strength. I'm going to apply a small amount of brush on resin and press it out to the wings of the tip. Coming down at a 45 degree angle until you see that resin hit that nail and then press the tip down. Don't worry about the wings of the tip right now. All you're concentrating on is the centre piece of that nail. Once that centre piece is stuck, then you can use your fingers or your nails to press those wings in. Check to see if you've got any air pockets. If you did, you could always apply just a little bit more resin. We're going to cut this nail now, remembering always that the blade is towards you and not towards the client so that you don't cut her finger at any point. You get the client to lift the hand up so that you can get the tip cutter underneath. You will have already discussed any consultation of what length that client wants. Again, with the wellless tips, there's no actual need to do any filing on them now. We can just go straight on to applying the acrylic. Also, another thing to remember though is if you're going to do gel instead of acrylic, you would need to take the shine off this tip. But today we're doing acrylic. I'm going to start by dehydrating this nail. The reason we dehydrate nails before we put acrylic on top of them is that nails are alkaline based and acrylic is acidic based. We need to change the base of the nail to match the acrylic. 
on the natural nail only, there's no need to apply it to the plastic tip. When that product goes on, it starts off wet and then it dehydrates the nail so you'll see it dry. We're going to be using an acrylic liquid that has already got a primer in it. If your acrylic liquid hasn't got a primer in it, then you will now need to apply a primer to that natural nail as well, but we don't need to. We're going to be using Mega White, Clear and Blush Pink. The reason we use clear as well as pink is so that we don't get any shadowing on the smile line. So when you're picking your monero up, put your brush all the way in, draw back once, into your powder, one, two, three. That way you know you're going to have a perfect consistency bead. It's not going to be too dry that you can still see the powder and it's not going to be too wet that it's dripping off the brush. When using white powder, just blot the liquid off the back of the bead of the back of the brush to make sure that that white stays nice and bright. Place the bead on, wait for it to settle a little bit, don't go straight into it. Keeping your brush at a nice flat angle, you're going to press into this bead and push it up, follow your smile line. And then over to the other side, pushing up to follow that smile line. You're then going to use your flat of your brush to pull all that bead down. Make sure it covers the entire tip. Wipe your brush. You're then going to use the belly of your brush, which is the centre part of the brush. Pad down and make sure that the whole product is nice and even. If you need to wipe round your smile line, do that in a nice sweeping motion, don't prod at it. The next bead we're going to use is clear. Place that bead just past your smile line and again let it settle. Wipe your brush, using the tip of your brush this time, pad that bead out to each side and then pull back over the white. Nice light brush strokes. The next bead we're going to use is the blush pink. I'm going to tilt your client's finger slightly down so that when you apply this pink it's not going to flood back towards the cuticle. Again using the tip of your brush, pad it to either side and then pull over the clear. Give your brush a good rinse in the acrylic liquid before you put it away. The next bit we're going to do is we're going to pinch this nail. At the minute it's quite a flat nail and it doesn't match the size of the finger. Pinching makes the nail look a lot more slender and gives it a deeper C curve which also makes it a lot stronger. You need to wait for your acrylic to be slightly set before you do this else you're going to press into your acrylic and move it. This will alter with the temperature of your room. If you're in quite a warm room, you will need to pinch a lot earlier than if you were in a cold room. Keep checking your nail, keep checking to see if it's heated up. As soon as it starts to heat up and that acrylic set in, then it's time to pinch. Okay, so we're ready for pinching now. Place the tool on the nail, make sure that it's nice and central, and let go. The tool will do its work. You can then leave that tool on then and go on to your next nail. Okay. We're then going to start filing the nail, starting with the free edge. You can be a little bit more vigorous with this than what you were when you were filing the natural nail. Onto the side walls, making sure that that, natural, that nail comes out nice and parallel and doesn't fan out. The next stage we're going to do is file on top of the nail. We're going to start with the white area, then with the clear, then with the pink, so that you've divided your nail up into three zones. Keep the file moving, don't stay in one place, because the friction from the file could heat up and give the client a slight burning sensation. Whereas if you keep moving, they won't get that. Now moving on to the clear section and down onto the cuticle area where the pink is. Do be careful when filing around this area because you can cause damage to the client's natural nail if you file too hard.
once you think you've finished filing check your nail from all angles see if it's thin enough and if it, the arch is in the correct place the arch of the nail should be at its highest point at the center of the nail that is your stress point make sure that you've got no frills underneath the nail We then need to dust the nail to make sure that we don't get any dust trapped in our gel top coat. So the next stage is gel top coat. The reason we gel top coat an acrylic nail is to give it water durability. I'm going to paint this on just like you would a polish, making sure that you don't touch any skin or cuticle. I'm just popping that client under the lamp now for two minutes just for that gel top coat to cure. The last thing we're going to do is just apply a small amount of cuticle oil around the cuticle and massage it in. And that's your acrylic nail done.